All right, guys, Tuesday morning, and we got another Power, Power Minute. My name is Lena Abajamra, and I run Living with Power Ministries. You can find more about it at livingwithpower.org. We do biblical truth for everyday life. So I wrote these devotionals uh, in an attempt to get the Word of God in, in a practical way in your hands. This devotional is called Soaring with Eagles. The verse is Isaiah 40, 31. But they who wait for the Lord will renew their strengths. If you're an exercise junkie, then you understand the importance of rest in order to renew your strength. Some suggest that you must take one day off a week to allow your muscles to recuperate. Most are aware that you need water and food to renew your strength. But when it comes to your soul and strength of spirit, it's not surprising that fatigue sets in. We're living in a world with constant contusions to our souls. We face disappointments and hurts, delays and rejections. We wear out. We become overwhelmed. Isaiah 40:31 is a promise I was first introduced to in high school and soon became a favorite go-to space for me to land on. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. Our place of rest when we're weary is the very presence of God. It's a place where no rush exists and nothing else competes. It's a place for refuel refueling on his word and where rest is welcomed. Do you know that place of rest in the presence of your father? His presence is the fuel you need to soar with the eagles when you feel you can't go on anymore. Uh, that's a word for someone today. So if that's you, take some time out, spend it with the father, quiet down your soul, Breathe in, breathe out, and let God just know that you're there, ready to do anything he wants you to. If you don't know the Lord, check out livingwithpower.org. There's a lot of resources there that help you understand what it means to be a Christian. Or email me, lena at livingwithpower.org. All right, y'all have a great day. See you again tomorrow.